everybody and welcome to my Instagram live which today or tonight wherever you are in the world is going to be with one of my dearest friends and let's have a listen to what he sounds like while you're all checking in I can see all the numbers coming up hello everybody welcome to the Instagram live chat now I'm going to play a little bit of music for you to introduce my guest here today have a listen to this Who could it be? Art ones in the world, Lockie Gillespie. And a lot of you know him as the purple wiggle. Here he is right now. Hi, Hello. <laughs> Hi, Marusha. How are you? Really good. Hello, everybody. You know, I was just, just about to think I was writing a song list and I was going to sing. It's lovely to see you too. It's been a while since we actually saw each other. Yes, social distancing. Yeah, that's right. How are you? <laughs> I'm really well, thank you for asking. It's rainy here in Brisbane, and it's been one of those days that reminds me of Europe, where it was just cloudy all day, and so we had a very relaxed day today watching some movies. And of course, we had to pop on the television and watch some of the Wiggles, because my daughter, Sasha, is one of your biggest fans in the whole wide world. Of course, she's met you all as well in person, so she sort of thinks that she's watching her mate. <laughs> Total friends, we're the best of friends. Please say hi to <laughs> And how are you, Lucky, today? Good. It's rained here too today. I went yeah. for a run and got completely soaked. Um, but it's been a lovely, <laughs> it's been an interesting time. In, uh, we're, we're in Sydney, of course. Um, still been able to wiggle. It's still been able to make some music, um, thankfully. But it has been a very interesting time. I haven't seen you for ages. I Was know, like I know. Christmas carols? Christmas carols, something like that. Yeah. Crikey. <laughs> Time flies. But, you know, I think, I think one of the great things coming out of this time that we've all going through, everybody in the world is going through the same thing. And none of us have ever been through a pandemic. And I think one of the things that's happening here, it's bringing us together in ways that we never thought would be possible. Mm -hmm. And even though you and I were on, in separate cities, it's still bringing us together via social media. And to all the people that are watching right now, we're all together in this chat as well. So it's so lovely. Um, it's so lovely to have you joining me um, on this chat, Lock. Um, I want to talk about a few things. I want today, yeah. I want to talk about a few memories. I want to take you down memory lane in my little segment called A Walk Down Memory Lane. And I'm going to also be asking you a few questions this, um, this past week, I have been asking um, the audience, would you have any questions for Lockie? And we've got heaps of questions in, and it's been really hard to cut them down. So okay. I've chosen a few really cool questions. Yep. So I thought, let's start off with a question, and that'll get us talking. And the question is from Have a Bojiful Day, what vocal warm-up should you do before singing to achieve your vocal range? Whoa. Well, your vocal warm-up would be slightly different to mine because you are the most beautiful opera singer <laughs> the world has ever heard. Um, <laughs> mine's not as uh, huge, but it's something like, mm. um, oh, like a little buzz in oh, yeah. the, to get my sound warmed up like this. doesn't sound very good, but... Um, just something like that. And then I just maybe do some scales like la 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 like that over and over and over until I feel warm and ready to go on stage with the wheels. I love it. I love it. As a soprano, as you said, it's very different. Um, as a soprano, when I'm warming up my voice, I tend to um, go on a neutral E. So I find a neutral vowel, which is not an E or an E, but it's an E, uh, E. Uh. 
it's when everything's really relaxed. Uh, yeah. And then I go, uh, and I do that all the way up the scale. It takes quite a long time, but it's one of the best ways to really get that voice happening. So there you go. There's the first question. Uh, I'm going to try that. Uh, now that's very low. Sometimes I'd be up a lot higher. Oh, there we go. <laughs> So, Locke, I want to talk to you about how we met. A lot of questions coming past this week have been, how do you actually know each other? When did you meet? Um, when did you sing together? Were you singing together before Lockie was part of the Wiggles? So I'm going to let you answer that question. Okay, can I do it in song? Yes, sure. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. That's a terrible idea. Um, <laughs> when I went to school in Brisbane. It was very fun. Then I joined a vocal group called Two by Two. <laughs> two boys and two girls. We sang down near the Redlands area. We sang songs like, um, uh, bye bye, oh, bye bye, bye bye. Don't want to be a fool for you. Just another minute. That one? Uh, we say, that one? <laughs> yep. We say a Britney Spears song. We were a vocal group. No, I'll stop singing. We sang a lot of songs and then one day got introduced to Marusha, who lived down in the Redlands area. And then we became very good friends. We did a musical together. It's called. What's it called? <laughs> Speak now or forever hold your peace. It's called Speak Now or Forever, Hold Your Peace. <laughs> we got married in the show. It was we all did. happening. One of my best memories, Marusha. I'm going to stop because I can't oh. keep the same song over and over again. <laughs> Marusha and I, when we kind of had just met, did a, uh, a wedding, um, what was it called? Like a wedding oh. expo down the Redlands area. <laughs> I got given a lovely suit. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was a tan colour, three-piece. Yeah. It was beautiful. Um, you got dressed in a wedding dress. Mm -hmm. And we sang, I remember coming down some stairs in this lovely uh, hall, uh, looking like we were going to get married ourselves. And we sang something. I think it was Love is a Gift. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is a moment. This is a night. So everybody then. Marusha and I became friends forever. Uh, and then she joined Andre Rue and travelled all around the world. I joined the Wiggles, travel all around the world. And we still keep in touch and see each other a little bit. And sometimes perform <laughs> together. Together. Do yeah. you know your Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Wiggles yes. shot at Brisbane Town Hall has had so many views. People love that video. You sound Aww. so beautiful in it. And it's very interesting with you. Ah, oh, thank you. That so make much. any sense? We did. We did have. A, we've had so many memories. You know, another memory that I have. Can I quickly share it? Yeah. Was going over to your house to practice and <laughs> visiting your mum and dad, who I love, yeah. and I say hi to them. But you, that rose cordial. Now it's not cordial, but it's like a syrup. Yeah. Is from is it? I think it's an Indian rose syrup, and they use it in um, the yogurt drinks. Unbelievable. We didn't have it in a yeah. drink. We had it in like sparkling water or lemonade. Yes. That is yeah. a memory I have of your parents' place. <laughs> best, best times. Your best times. Best times. Best. Okay. That's amazing. That's amazing. Hello from Kentucky. Hello. Karoo Karoo song. We sang that too, didn't oh, we? Oh, yes. Yes. That was so special last year at the carols in Sydney. We sang that. That was really a lot of fun. Um, okay. I've got a couple more questions here for you, Lucky. So. Well, I've got a question here from Bentha Grunendal, and she would like to know what duet would you like to sing together? Oh, gee. Well, we have done a duet together, haven't we? Called yes. Lovers. Yes. Not just at the old Redlands uh, Wedding Expo venue. We did it on one of your, your albums. Yes, it's on the album From the Heart. From the Heart, yes. Now, it's <laughs> Due to social distancing and social uh, separation, 
uh, we are miles apart. We probably wouldn't sing in time if I was to play it on my piano okay. here. Um, do you have any other songs you'd love to sing? All right, well, this leads me into a wonderful question, which Whoa. is being asked by Ka uh, Kokiri Moon. And she asks, or he asks, I'm not sure who Kokiri is because it sounds actually like a, like a, like a character. Um, if both of you could sing like each other for a brief moment of time, what song would you want to sing first? Right. I think that is an amazing question. I love that. If I was suddenly, um, if I suddenly possessed your voice mm. and you suddenly had mine. Yes. I mean, I mean, for those of you who um, don't know Lockie singing other repertoire, he is a Barry Tanner. That's his official voice type. He can sing incredibly low, but he can also sing very, very high. And he has an amazing, amazing classical crossover voice. Um, and so if you ever get to hear Lucky sing some more, I don't know, dramatic style music, I think if it, if it was to be me having your voice for the, for the first time, I'd probably choose... Um, uh, from the Phantom of the Opera, the music of the night. I would, I would totally, I would sing it night and day. I would sing it all day long. I think, I think that if I had your voice, that's what I would sing. Okay. Can you sing? Can you sing it for me? Music of now. the night. Yeah, now. As, as you or as me? No, as you. You sing it now. I'm, okay. okay, just a little bit. Yeah. So not, not in, not in a high voice. Not like you. No, like you. Like as if, as if. As if you are me with your voice choosing this song to sing. Okay. Um, I think I can. Okay. <laughs> what is it? How's it start? Night time sharpens. Night time sharpens, tightens each sensation. Darkness stirs. And wakes imagination Silently the senses Abandon their defenses Keep going? Yeah! Um, what's the next words? <laughs> Slowly, deftly, music shall caress you. Hear it, feel it, secrets repossess you. Open up your mind, let your fantasies unwind. In this darkness which you know you cannot find. What are the chords? The power of music of the night. Yeah, amazing! Please give oh. your hearts as applause. That was amazing. Thank you, hearts. See? See, that's the song I would choose immediately. <laughs> well, what would I choose for you? Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, I'm still confused at the concept, but if I'm choosing a song for you that you would sing, that I would love to sing. Yeah, well, right. yeah. So if you possessed my voice and then you, the, like, you were like, okay, now I'm going to sing with her voice. Like, what would you sing first? Okay, well, you know, one of, the, one of your live concerts with Andre... Yes. Um, I don't know where it was. It had a castle backdrop overseas somewhere. Magnificent. <laughs> I only watched yeah. it more recently. But, you know, it brought me to tears because oh. here is a girl from Redlands who I've known since forever and singing Waltzy Matilda in front of <laughs> so many different uh, people from all over the world representing Australia it is. It was actually uh, gave me goosebumps, and you could see Andre looking over, and he was so proud. Could, would you sing a little bit of that? Because 
that sure. that is that was really nice. All right, let me let me see if I can cue up a little um a little bit of music. Um, reminds me of two by two. Uh, yes, I mean I'm not as skilled as you. I my greatest regret in life, and and for all of you watching, one of my greatest regrets was not sticking with my piano lessons, because I I just I love singing, and when I sang, I just oh, I needed to just flop out. But if if I was playing piano, it was all very technical, and I didn't have the patience to sit and learn it. And it's one of my greatest regrets. I really wish that I had stuck with my piano lesson. So for all of you out there who are learning piano right now, keep, keep at it because honestly, it is such a gift to be able to play the piano and to just create music with your fingertips. How amazing is that actually? I mean, that's, you just play a chord. It's like, oh, it's amazing. Okay, let me cue up some music. Um, you did work on your I, voice though and your voice is beautiful. So I, I did pick my voice and, and I really focused on that. Um, let's have a little look. I have a little track here by um, uh, an orchestra called the Johann Strauss Orchestra led by Andre Rio. Yes. Ah, uh, let's have a look at that. Here, um, here we go. Can you hear it? Oh, yeah, we can. Once a jolly swagman planned by a billabong under the shade of a pool of and he sang as he watched and waited till his billy boiled. Who oh, come a waltzing Matilda with me? Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda. Who oh, come a waltzing Matilda with me? And he sang as he watched and waited till his pilly boiled. Who oh, come a waltzing Matilda with me? There you go. <laughs> beautiful. So uh, beautiful. Thank you. Bravo. Bravo. I hope you were all singing along at home too. That was really lovely. Thank uh, you. Thank you so much. Um, Lachlan, we met when we were young and we were uh, 16. Whoa, yes. We were 16 years old and we were both cast in a musical, which we said before, it was called Speak Now or Forever Hold Your Peace. And it was a comedy and it was very, very funny. It was written by Kim Durant and Alan Beard. And, um, and it starred a number of really talented people that went on to have incredible careers in the music industry. And you and I were cast as the lead roles. We got married um, and we sang about lots of, lo of different things. But I think it was, um, it was one of those things in life where you meet somebody and you just, it's like fate stepped in and you were meant to meet each other and have a lifelong friendship. And, um, and I'm always so grateful for that opportunity of being cast in that musical and, and to, to sing alongside you every night was, was amazing. And you're such a talented performer. Lachlan, back then you were, um, you were studying musical theatre. You were doing a lot of it outside of school and you were really focusing on dance and, and music and singing and acting and all of those things. Um, and you were a force to be reckoned with. And so it was, it was always one of those things that when we stepped on stage together, I always had to just, you know, suck it in and, and step it up because you were always at the top of your game. You still are. And I think it's one of the most amazing, amazing things about you. You always switch it on and you're always right there. Um, can you tell me a little bit and tell the viewers a little bit about your training in musical theatre and, um, and why you developed a passion for for studying musical theatre. Well, thank you. That was lovely. <laughs> I, I was also uh, had tips in my hair back then. and um, Yes, you did. <laughs> the, worst, the worst actor I've ever seen. Um, oh, no. You were, you were leaps above. Not that it's about that, but you were, you were amazing in that show. But no, I, 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 ever since I was in high school, I wanted to go to WAPA, the Western Australian Academy of Performing Arts. That's really all I ever wanted to do. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't really have any other backup plans. I didn't get in the first year. It's a strict audition process. So I went to DLDC, uh, Davidial in Dance School in Brisbane, 
to do a Bachelor of Music Theatre because they said to me at my audition at Whopper, your singing's good and your acting's pretty average, but <laughs> you, you need to work on your dance because I hadn't done any dance in school. I was in the school choir. We didn't have a, a dance stream back then, so I didn't do any of that. I played lots of sport. So I went and I did the most fantastic year of dance and music theatre, more about the dance than anything else. Had the yeah. best year, learnt so much. I famously, or <laughs> I think famously, got to do the split from oh. not being <laughs> at all to getting the splits. I still tell everyone that story. I can't anymore, but I did it back then. Um, but awesome. then, then Whopper was the best three years ever. Uh, yeah. And then I kind of think that that changed over over time and now... I'm with the Wiggles and I wouldn't have it any other way. And I think I fell into the perfect uh, performance area for my yes. uh, skills. Um, I Auditioning for music theatre was incredibly hard. After I left mm. Opera, I moved to Melbourne. I worked at uh, Baker's Delight. I worked at a mm. cafe. And I worked in a roast kitchen uh, <laughs> servery. Met some of the most amazing people and had the best time working there, but I only had a random audition every now and then. And, yeah, I was yeah. still even nervous back then to audition and show myself. And only in the last few years have I got to a point where I can um, oh. be myself. And that's the best part about being Lockie Wiggle and being with the Wiggles is that you can do that. So that's kind of in a nutshell what happened. But I love the Wiggles. I love performing for children and families. And yeah. I would not want to do any other job in the whole wide world. That's amazing. I remember... Um, we stayed in touch, of course, over the years, and I went off to the conservatorium. He went off to Wapa. I was studying opera, and I was getting really serious about going down the classical path. Um, and then uh, I got the phone call from Andre Rio. I ended up going down that path, um, which totally was a fit for me. Just as you say, the Wiggles are a fit for you. Working with Andre is a fit for me. I'm able to sing the songs that I love and, and, and have a lot and a lot of fun, but also travel the world. Um, one of my, one of my greatest passions is traveling. And, um, unfortunately now it's not possible, but, um, but the traveling the world is one of the greatest things to meet the different audiences. And I remember when we came back to Australia, we, um, Andrea and I were invited to um, see Wicked, the musical, when it was in Melbourne. So... Annika Melbourne, Annika Melbourne, Annika Melbourne. Popular. So, yeah, off we went to see Wicked. And the show was amazing and everyone was absolutely incredible. And the um, organisers had organised that Andrea and I would go and meet the cast after the show. Um, so we're all walking out and at that moment, Andre and I had um, a number one album in Australia called Waltzing Matilda. And, um, and so there was a lot of press around, everybody was, was around us. And all of a sudden, there is this tap on my shoulder, we're out in the foyer and it's so busy, so crazy. It was just, you know, those moments where you just go, oh, I don't even know where to look. I can't even breathe. There's a tap on my shoulder and it's you. And you say, hey, it's me, Lockie, like as if I wouldn't remember who you are. And it was like everything just went vroom. And I just, it, you and I were just in that moment of, oh, my gosh, what? And it was so unrealistic, everything that was going on. And I was being basically pulled away to go away. And you were being pulled away to go away. And it was just all happening. And I think at that moment, we really reconnected. And that's when everything started happening with you, Locke. You started touring with the Wiggles. Um, in 2012, you became the Purple Wiggle, which I was so proud of. Um, and yes, it was, ama it was really amazing. Um, and I think it was at that moment that we decided to record Love is a Gift again. Mm. After, after having sung it as kids, it now took on a total new meaning and it was really, really lovely. Now, I want to take you down a walk down memory lane. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is taking you back to Lachlan Gillespie when he was 17. Can you see that? Oh, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Shirt. Yep. That's me there. Oh. Wow, there you are. Yep, look at that. Lovely. I didn't actually quite like that shirt. It's a 
Where was that? I, well, it's purple. I mean, oh, there you go. See, that's, that's a why purple I like shirt it. for you. It's meant to Where be. Where was that? This is so we used to, as you said, you were in a vocal group, two by two, and I was always singing. We had like a lot of friends around. We're all singing all the time, and so we'd have parties at each other's houses. And this was at Shannon Shannon Jacobenko's house. Oh. Goodness gracious. San and Jacobenko ended up in Australian Idol, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. and he did very well. His name is now Teal, and he did an amazing job. Um, okay, next photo. Can you tell me what's happening in this photo? <laughs> Holy, there's the tips. They're out. Nothing like a matching. Can you see that? It's not very good. Oh, you can definitely see it. Don't worry. Holy dooly. Is that the yeah. year uh, semi-formal? That's, that's your semi-formal. Yes. Oh, wow. Well, we were very so, well recorded. Well, the thing is, we were singing in this, in this get-up, black and white. We were singing in it together, and I think you were like, well, who can I take to semi-formal? Well, she's already got a dress, so let's just take Marusha. Um, <laughs> so I was like, okay. <laughs> it wasn't just that. That's brilliant. <laughs> Um, okay, this is the last one, so I won't embarrass you too much, but the tips are fully out here, ladies and yep. gentlemen. This hairdo needs to needs to make a recovery, or maybe it shouldn't. That is us yeah, that's the musical. in our costumes. Yes, wearing a lot of makeup. Look at that, see? <laughs> and the tips, they're really there. Can you see that? Ooh. Yes, we sure can. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go. That's us. That was in the musical. And yes, we do look so young. Thank you, Eleanor. Um, that was a long time ago. Um, <laughs> all right. So I've got a serious question here for you, Locke. Um, Andrea Sparks would like to know at what age should children start learning music or does it not matter? Well, not. I, I started playing the piano when I was four. Uh, no, I don't have huge memories of that, but I remember loving it. I remember getting a bit scared around uh, uh, doing exams. So I ended up didn't doing exams. I just kept playing for fun. But I think whenever they, uh, they show some interest in it, you can give it a try. And if it doesn't work out, then always a bit later. But music is, my dad's just picked up the guitar only just in the uh -huh. last few years. He, he was like you, he wished he played from a younger age, but it's definitely easier when you're younger. Yeah. But, you can encourage your children to play an instrument or sing or dance or whatever they feel like doing. And yeah, it was, I love, I love the piano. I've always loved it. And even though I didn't do exams and I'm not technically really great. I, I just love playing along and singing while I play. Can I play you something just cause I saw someone just before ask her request. Yeah. Just cause I'm wearing this lovely hat. I just thought. Oh I'd yeah, try for it. Two seconds of this one. On bonny banks and by on bonny rains, where the sun sets high on Loch Lomond, where me and my true love will never meet again. On the bonny, bonny banks of Loch Lomond, he'll take the high road and I'll take. I'll be in Scotland before ye, when me and my true love will never meet again on the bonny, bonny banks of Loch Lomond. <laughs> okay, I, <was> <laughs> I love that. I love that song so much. I sang it as well in Scotland the yeah. Brave. And I yeah. love your, I love, so I would like to, to move on now to talk about your project that you do. And I absolutely love listening to it when you guys are on stage with the unusual commoners. Oh. Can you tell us all a little bit about that incredible band that's touring around when they can? I love, I love listening to you guys. Sure, we're just about to do an, our first album. Yeah, Anthony and I and uh, Ollie, the guitarist, started just on days off. Uh, we would just get the old instruments in the car and go and sing somewhere randomly. 
Uh, <laughs> and we just, we just love it. And Anthony's got such an amazing repertoire of music. This is how I yeah. learned most of these songs that I, I play now from, from him. Um, yeah. We play Scottish and Irish. Someone just said, you've got to do an Irish song to balance it out. <laughs> <laughs> we, we play... We play some some beautiful um, beautiful songs. We're just doing we're at, in the moment making it. It's just about finished. Amazing. Um, the band played Waltzing Matilda. We do. Uh, I tell my mom and I get told the boys will leave the girls alone. I hear the song. We can do that one. We do. Uh, there's so many, but it's so fun and it's a really great album. Some really beautiful songs. There's some uh, rocking uh, bagpipe tunes with electric guitar and drums and so it's real mixed but it's something we've wanted to do for ages so the abc are going to release that with us and that's really awesome oh, i yeah. can't wait for that is can we expect it before christmas absolutely yes oh so there's something to look out for everybody you heard it here first um really really <laughs> exciting news um about that and the unusual comment is you guys are so entertaining too just to see you live is really exciting so um, for those of you who are old enough to attend an Unusual Commoners uh, event, you definitely should when you can. And when we're all back on the road again, which I'm sure that we're all hoping is really, really soon. Now, I've got a, one more question for you. And this is from Shanae Bright. And she wants to know, why is Lockie always so sleepy? Oh, well, you know... <laughs> Well, I asked, but I didn't ask, play skin of a rink. Mm -hmm. um, Jeff Wiggle gave me his shirt, his purple shirt. Yeah. And as soon as I put it on, I felt sleepy. So we used yeah. to sing. Wake up, Jeff, everybody's waking. Wake up, Jeff, we really need you. Wake up, Jeff. But now we sing Wake Up, Lockie, because it's a shirt. It's a purple colour. It's so calming. It's so relaxing. And it's so comfy wearing Jeff's Givy and shirt. <laughs> and I just fall asleep all the time. So, so when, you, when you don't have the purple shirt on, you're not tired? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you go out to jogs in the rain, so I mean, there's yes. motivation for you. I had a, had a good day today. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's really good. Ah, uh, Lockie, it's been so lovely to catch up with you on Instagram Live tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Are there any parting thoughts that you'd like to share before we say goodbye? Uh, would you like to sing something else? I think people would love to hear your, oh. your voice. But if we oh, don't, my goodness. You, you, I, know, you don't have oh. to pull out a backing track if you don't want to, but... I'll have to pull out a backing track. Okay, you, you do something while I pull out a backing track. All right, well, I'll say hello to everyone. I'll say hello to Tia. Okay. Hello, Tia. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Go to sleep, Lockie. Yes, okay. <laughs> I will soon. Uh, twink oh, twinkle. Someone did say twinkle, twinkle. Can I do a bit of that while you look? Oh, please do. Yes. Okay. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are up above. Someone called Yuri just said shout out to Sasha. <laughs> That's my high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Is that a good key for you? You just want to keep I singing that. up? No, I've got a song here. I've got a song oh, got a here. Song. Oh, I've yeah. got a song. I've got a song. Now, I'm going to keep along the musical theatre trend. Um, yes. Because we both love MK and we both did a bit of studying of it, you more so than I, um, as obviously I went through down the classical track. I went to the conservatorium in Brisbane. But this is a song that I love to sing, but I think it kind of is also a little bit hopeful. And I think in this, this day and age that we're living in now, I think that this song might, um, might be, be hopeful for everyone. This is from, I'm gonna see if I can find where to get in there. Here we can't go. Wait. Can't wait to hear what this is. The sun will come out 
to borrow, oh. so you gotta hang on to tomorrow. Come what may, tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you tomorrow. You're only a day away. To You know, your voice is so powerful that it actually goes almost silent when you hit the big note because it's too much for the speaker. <laughs> it's that just was like so beautiful. <laughs> distortion. <laughs> you're the best. Oh, you're the best. You're the best. I mean, thank you I'm for just... singing to everyone. Oh, no, thank you for singing to everyone. And for everybody watching, please go and listen to some more of Lockie singing his amazing songs, but especially the songs he's written himself. Can you tell us some of those? Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Skeleton Scat. There we go. I actually really, really like that song when it comes on. It's it's really got a good groove to it, and I think I think I think it's it's I think you should put this on on the U unusual commoners album. Oh, that would Ooh. be like what? That, what can I can I sing you good night? <gasps> yes. This is another one of of Lockie's, but good night to you, my sweet friend. It's time to sleep till the night time ends. So good night to you, close your eyes. <laughs> Lockie's lullaby. You can tell it's mine because I put Lockie's lullaby in there. That's a nice one. Good night I to everyone watching, but thank you. Thank you, thank for, you. Thank you for having me. On oh, thank live you. Today. It's been a real joy to have you here on the Instagram live chat. Thank you so much, Lucky, for joining us. Please give Lachlan some hearts on the side there. I tried to and give your um, heart before for singing Annie, and I couldn't find a heart for you. <laughs> I, I didn't press anything, but in case I heard. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Luck. I hope we can speak again really soon. But most of all, I hope we can see each other again really soon. So for now, here's a virtual hug. And we'll speak to you again. Another day. Thank you so much. Bye bye, Marusha. Bye bye, bye buddy. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us here tonight on Instagram Live. It's been a real, real joy to speak with Lockie, who I grew up with, as you heard. And um, to have a friend in music is something very, very special. So for all of you who are doing music at the moment at school or studying music or part of music, please be great friends with the people you're making music with because you have a lifelong connection and it's one of the most beautiful things in the world. And to take us out, here is our song, Love is a Gift. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Bye-bye.